This is where it all begins. The leap of faith. The first step to the journey. Towards the unknown. The challenging. The daunting. But when we're together. Hand in hand. The journey becomes... Exciting. We're partners, you and I, together, facing your fears, pursuing your passion, breaking boundaries, building your future, overcoming challenges, celebrating every achievement. When we're together, we're unstoppable. When we're together, anything is possible. At BTN, we know the power of partnership. A good partner works with you intimately. A good partner knows what you need. A good partner always has your back. A partner for starting your dream family, building your dream home, realizing the dream. It takes courage to begin, but it takes encouragement to keep on going. So go on, dream big. We're with you every step of the way. You have a partner in BTN. It is one of the most electrifying arenas here in Southeast Asia, Tagore, Kirtachaya, in Surabaya, Indonesia, as we continue our Rise to Greatness tonight here in game number three of the 2019 ASEAN Basketball League. I am Anton Ross, and joining me to break down the action between the Singapore Slingers and the home team, BTN CLS Knights Indonesia is the jack of all trades, master of all, Noel Zarate. I, I knew you were going to use that intro on me. But you know, it is game three here. The, uh, the uh, BTN CLS Knights have taken away home court advantage from the Singapore Slingers. They have two opportunities to get their first ASEAN Basketball League Championship. And it begins tonight right here in Surabaya for game three. And we are taking a look at the playoff picture in the well. And this is a tale of two teams that are looking to make history this year by attaining their first ABL Championship. We're taking a look at the keys to the game. What must the Knights do to defend the castle tonight? Well, again, boxing out is one of the main things that they really need to do here. They were out-rebounded in game number two when they lost that 177 to 57 or by 20 points. Share the ball. They've been doing this a lot, especially now that Wong Wei Long is back in the starting lineup. They do run the system effectively, but they have to run more on offense. And they can do that in this building where they are almost impeccable in here in Gorka Jaya. You're right about that, though. Well, 14 wins, only three defeats here in ABL 9. A six-game winning streak here at this exact venue. So they're feeling good coming back home to Indonesia. But let's not forget what happened in game number two. A dominating win by the Singapore Stingers, 77 to 57, as we take a look at some of the numbers right here. Well, of course, that game was actually won in the first quarter with a 20 to 9 start for the uh, Singapore Slingers, avenging the loss that they had in game number one where they lost home court. I was talking to assistant coach Kofa Nugro coming in. They missed six layups, which could have spelled the difference in that first quarter. They had to fight back 
ever since. They were down by 10 at the end of three, but they just didn't have the gas to win. That's why the series is tied. And a lot of questionable things happened in that game after a double-double performance by Daryl Watkins in game number one. 23 points and 12 rebounds. He only had eight points and seven rebounds in game number two. Max Eschel, after scoring 24 in game number one, only had 12 in the second game. So a lot of things have to be discussed in the camp of the Knights as we take a look at the player matchup right here where John Fields really dominated Watkins in Singapore. And again, you know that eight and seven, that might not happen in this building right now, but John Fields did his job. They were able to get game number two, and they're all set here for game number three. Now the big question is, is Jaron Young healthy for the Singapore Slingers? He pulled his hamstring in game number one. He admitted to me earlier that he is playing in pain. This guy is going to make it very difficult for him. We're talking about Doug Herring, one of the uh, key players, key acquisitions midseason for the BTN CLS Knights. That's why they're here in the finals. And Doug Herring was one of the big reasons, along with Daryl Watkins, as to how the Knights turned the season around. Remember, they started the season 2 and 7 before acquiring these two guys and then going on a seven game winning streak that really changed everything for this ball club. Well, you know, when they went 2-7, and seven, their last loss there was actually against the Wolf Warriors who didn't even make the playoffs. Uh, they, they really thought, uh, at least Coach Brian Rousseff thought, that that was the down point of their season. When they did acquire Harry, when they did acquire Daryl Watkins, they went on that 6-7 game win streak. But again, you did mention 14-3 and three in this building. The last time they did lose, however, in this building, I thought, was against the opponents that they're going up against here today. And that's what makes game number three all the more important and exciting. We do not know what to expect. Will the Knights show up to defend home court or will the Slingers come in with the momentum that they generated in game number two to score another victory here? You have to remember, of course, in game number two, that was the awards night as well. We did hand out the four major awards for individuals in the league. Uh, congratulations, of course, to, uh, to Dean Murray for winning Coach of the Year and for Bobby Ray Parks winning back-to-back uh, -back local MVP. But uh, there are two Singapore Slingers that also got the accolades there. Defensive Player of the Year went to John Fields, almost a runaway victory for John Fields. And Xavier Alexander finally getting recognition as the league's most valuable player. I mean, he has led the Singapore Slingers to three of the last four finals appearance. And his name was never actually in the conversation for most valuable player, but he broke several records this year and well-deserved. But I was talking to Xavier Alexander before the game, I thought he said, the MVP is great, but it'll mean nothing without the chip. X marks the spot for the X fans, Xavier Alexander, and tonight he wants to give his team a 2 to 1 series lead in his best of five series in the 2019 ASEAN Basketball League Finals. What are some of the matchups that you are looking forward to seeing tonight, Noel, aside from the matchup at the center spot between Watkins and, of course, John Fields? Well, you know, you're going to talk about the two guys who score heavily for, the, for their respective squads. The MVP, Xavier Alexander, going up against Maxi Esho. That's something that we were going to look a lot, uh, a lot, a lot uh, forward to. But I was talking to Brandon Jawando. He's going to take on Xavier Alexander oh. at the onset. So let's see if that uh, that gambit pays off. Now, if Doug Herring can actually keep Jaron Young also from performing well, then the Knights might have an advantage there. But again, Desmond Oh going up against his buddy, former Singapore <laughs> slinger Wong Wei Long. So many storylines. Wong Wei Long is the first local to play in two different teams in the ASEAN Basketball League. And uh, of course, they are still good friends. Avery Alexander says Wong Wei Long is still one of his closest friends. But today, they have infiltrated enemy territory, and they want this win on the road. Now, it's good that you mentioned Wong Wei Long because earlier you mentioned the injury to the hamstring of Jaron Young. What is the condition of Wong Wei Long coming into game number three? Well, I actually talked to coach, uh, assistant coach Koko Nugroho about that. He's at 100%. Uh, everybody's saying he's at 100%. He was only held down to three points in game number two. But of course, he did not play in game number one after sustaining that nasty gash and that clincher they had in this building against the Mono Vampire in the semifinal. But he is 100%. I didn't even see a scar on his face from where that wound was. And you know that Wang Wei Long has set all sorts of records as well this season. He is the number one all-time three-point shooter in league history. And if he can get that done against his former team, that's another storyline that we're going to follow. Uh, last year, our mantra for the entire season was make history. Players continue to make history here in 2019, and we are all rising to greatness together as we are all set to witness 
game number three of the finals here in the 2019 SEA Basketball League. You know, it's a lot of pump and pageantry going on here between uh, these two teams. And uh, team, actually, uh, uh, Coach Brian Rosa was telling me if last you know, January you were telling me that they would have an opportunity to close out the ABL finals at home, games three and four here at home, he'd probably laugh at you. That was a time when they were at two and seven. He'd probably say that maybe Coach Jimmy Alapag would have that opportunity, or even Coach Dean Murray would have that opportunity. But alas, those two teams didn't even make it to the semifinals. So it is really a storied uh, rise to greatness for the Slingers and the Knights. And now we are ready to begin the player introductions as the Singapore Slingers are being introduced here in Indonesia. Let's listen in.
Indonesia Raya. Kami mohon semua bangkit berdiri. You may rise from your chairs. We're gonna sing national anthem. Kami nyanyi oleh Tom Berenjusimadi. Surabaya nyanyi yang keras. And this is our national anthem, Indonesia Raya. That is the battle cry, the mantra of the Indonesians as they get set to cheer on the home team as they take on the visiting Singapore Stingers. We're taking a look at a starting unit for the coach of Neil Beng Xiang. The usual starters, and these are the players who will try to hold the fort for Coach Brian Rosso. Well, of course, Wang Wei Long, he is needed in this game. Scored only three points in game number two after missing game number one. He is shooting very well in this building. Average is almost five threes a game. We're playing at the Gorkert Ajaya Gymnasium. Another matchup that we actually didn't talk about was actually the local matchup between MVP, local MVP candidates, Delvin Goh, going up against Brandon Joato. As you can see, Brian Rousem, who also had a few votes for Coach of the Year. But again, you know, he was he was recounting to me that that story at Clyde Drexler and the Eli Juan watching that MVP trophy being given to David Robinson in 1994. And I uh, would 1995 rather, and then Clyde Drexler was going, hey, they see, looks like they're giving your trophy away. And as uh, Eli Juan said, do not worry, we will get the big trophy. And that's exactly the mantra right now of the uh, CLS, the DTN CLS guys in this building. If that opening, I'm gone, they'll give you goosebumps, I don't know what will. An amazing feeling here inside this gymnasium as the fans are going absolutely ballistic. <laughs> Can't wait for game number three to begin as the Knights look to protect home court. We're taking a look at Douglas Herring. What a guy, what, what, a, what an impressive showing throughout these finals. He's been the most consistent player for the night so far in this series. And you did mention when we were coming here to the gym, he reminds you a lot of Gilbert Arenas, the way he plays. But I, I would probably say that he plays better defense than Gilbert Arenas. Those five steals are actually a usual pair for an 18-6-5 along with five steals. Got a few votes as well for defensive player of the year, but lost out to John Fields. But again, he won the big trophy, and Doug Herring has been doing enough to keep, you know, they stole home court advantage, and if he continues here today, they might have a big chance of being one win away from their first ever championship. In Singapore, he only shot one out of seven from beyond the arc, but here at their home floor, Doug Herring shoots a better percentage, and that percentage has to come out here if they want to close out the championship in game number four. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be long way long playing off the ball again. Doug Herring's gonna have the ball in his hands a lot. But we've also seen Maxi Escho do a lot of point guard as well to make those two players, those two guards, play off the ball. And uh, for the Singapore Slingers, so many weapons actually can beat We did mention Ben but oh, we did mention Delvin Go, but also their best they have guys like Johan Bin, uh, Johan Bin coming in. Larry Liu has also been having a tremendous season for them. 
and uh, it, it's just going to be a question of which locals can actually be more consistent. Coach Neil Benchot, he has been here three times before, but never the winner. So I'm sure that's the same as Coach Michael Johnson, and they have been to the big dance, but they have never been awarded the trophy. I remember a conversation we had with Coach Neil Benchot when we were in Coachot, and we were asking him about the decision to make Saber Alexander the point guard yeah. of this event. Who would have thought that as a point guard, the X-Man would become the MVP? It's the first time he's actually been considered for that award. You have to remember that in the past two seasons, you did have guys like Matthew Wright. You had guys like Marcus Elliott there as well in that, in that uh, conversation. And, uh, and last year, of course, you had guys like uh, well um, uh, Anthony Tucker uh, walking away with it as well. But now that he is the main guy, he is the number one scorer in the history of the ASEAN Basketball League. And thank, uh, rightfully for him, he gets the MVP trophy. But again, he said it doesn't mean anything without the chip. And the belief of the Indonesian fans is that this man right here, Maxi Esho, be, yeah. is the MVP. They were chanting MVP as he came out to, in my opinion, one of the best starting introductions here in the ABL. <laughs> well, they're really prepared for this and they're excited. We have a sellout here. That matchup between Jawato and Delvin Go, that's going to be really, that's bang on bang as I was telling Brandon Jawato earlier. He's ready. The entire team is ready. Doug Herring not, uh, make that up. Uh, Darren Young not playing at 100%. But the big question here is, will they be using his services all throughout the game? He's not even in the starting lineup. It is Larry Liu who's getting the start here for the Singapore Slingers. So they're going to bring Young off the bench once again. He is hurting, but it is game three of the finals. And here we go, it is Fields versus Watkins to jump it up and game number three is officially underway. Wong Wei Long has the basketball. Herring pops out. Herring surveying the floor, gives it back to Wong Wei Long. And an offensive foul called as Maxi Esho and Watkins were providing the screen for Wong Wei Long. But you still like that for Wong Wei Long. He made his first shot of the game. You see, he wasn't, he didn't have that bandage over his gash when they were warming up here today. But the, that's a good sign for the BPN TLS guys that Wong Wei Long can get active on offense early. First offensive opportunity, Alexander gets it in the post. Driving dish does not work. Here comes the Knights. Jawato on the run. Brandon Jawato could not finish. Watkins on the putback attempt, and the whistle was blown. And our officials are going to call it very tight here at the onset. We do have an official, our two teams from the Philippines. We have a referee from Singapore and a referee as well from Thailand. And that's going to go against Delvin Go. And the floor, once again, there is no rain here. When there's usually a forecast of rain, it affects the floor. And this is an opportunity now for Daryl Watkins to get the first points of the game. Daryl Watkins had a very quiet out in game number two. Just unacceptable for a player of his character. He's got to come up big tonight here in game number three. And that's a good sign, knocking his first free throw down. But you also got to give credit to John Fields. He really did his homework against uh, Daryl Watkins. He's actually challenging Daryl Watkins coming into this game. This guy's old. What do you expect? So let's see if that comes out in their matchup today. Fields. Making a statement in game number two after receiving that defensive player of the year award. The X-Man at the post. Passing it underneath to Delvin Go, who loses control, but the ball will stay with the Slingers. They only have five seconds to shoot. They were trying to force the issue inside. The defense had already been set. Not really looking for the long ball yet, are the Slingers. They want to establish that inside game. It is Herring still matched up with a much bigger Xavier Alexander Fields testing that outside jumper and he backs it home off the glass. I don't know if he called back on that one, but you're going to take it. You know, anything from beyond 15 feet that John Fields makes is a big bonus for your offense. Herring calling out the play. Hidayat is on him. Actually, Larry Liu Larry working Liu, on over here. Yeah. Wong Wei Long on the reverse. Now remember, Wong Wei Long only had three points in game number two. His first three quarter was nullified because of an offensive foul, but he's taking it strong. He loves playing in front of this crowd in this building. Two inside pass to John Fields. Fields 
missing on that jump hook. The ball goes back to the Knights. Here's Herring. Herring stepping on the brakes. Crossover loses control. Kicks the ball out the wrong way long. Esho has it against Alexander. Esho's jumper is short. And it will bounce out. Ball goes back to the Singapore Slingers. Yeah, Xavier Alexander actually has deceptive length to bother these jump shots coming from Maxi Esho. And Maxi Esho is not really known for creating off the dribble. He'd rather have a, a quick pull up or just drive to the hoop. Anything in between is going to be a problem with the length of Xavier Alexander. This is a good matchup right here. Oh, these are two best home. friends. Yeah, these are two best friends. You for three. Now, Mary Liu, you have to remember, when he started out the Singaporean National Team, he was a 6'1 guard. Now he's close to 6'6. Six, six, and he's still playing guard for the Slingers. You with Jawato in front of him. He fights the four start for Singapore. Alexander. Elvin Go. Inside pass, Larry Liu. Met by Watkins, Fields! Grabbing the miss and putting it up and in. Yeah, that's, a, that's what happens when there's a mismatch and, and all of a sudden, Daryl Watkins has to play the shooter. Nobody there to box out John Fields. Good start here for the Slingers. Most of their baskets coming from inside. Their lone outside shot coming, of course, from Larry Liu. Wong Wei Long steps back, shoots a three! Basket is good for Wong Wei Long! Long Ranger is added early, five of the seven for the Knights. We have a tight game, Anton. Fields makes his move, Watkins pops him, and that's a foul. And, uh, you know, Daryl Watkins has to watch it here against John Fields. I know that he likes to play physical against all the centers in the league, but John Fields is pretty crafty, and crafty also at getting fouls from the opposing center. So Daryl Watkins might want to stay away from foul trouble. Alexander. Larry Liu from the baseline, too strong. Fields comes up to the offensive rebound. Alexander has a second opportunity. The X-Man makes his move. Gain away. Rebound, Esho. That's a good bother there by the defense. Everybody trying to pitch in all the rotations, picking up the people who are not really their matchups. Esho. And it's important for Maxi Esho to get himself going here in the first period. Like the maturity being shown here by the Singapore Slingers, they're still going into the flow of their offense. Great defense there from Daryl Watkins. Now, Maxi Asho coming off a 12 point performance in game number two is starting to contribute in terms of overall defense here in the first. It is a low scoring game right now, and that usually favors the Slingers. And think about it, the Slingers are keeping it low scoring with Jaron Young, one of their better defenders, still on the bench for that hamstring injury. Whether or not he sees heavy minutes today, that's completely up to him and the coaching staff. But right now, so far, so good. Slingers only down two. Young was very efficient in game number two. Only played 19 minutes, but scored 14 points, six out of nine from the field. Wang Wei Long spins. Esho has it. Fields is on him. Doug Herring. Passes it to the corner. Triple on the way. It is good. How about that? Sadie Kurnella coming off the bench. Electrifying this crowd. He is the best known shooter in Indonesia. And he shows us why. Back to Alexander. Kurnella is pestering. Alexander helping out Harry. Fields. And a foul away from the ball. And yeah, that was Doug Herring getting uh, involved there with Xavier Alexander. And Alexander knows he has to hide him. Yeah. Both friends with a uh, certain Michael Jordan, by the way. New. Long way long with the rebound. Herring. His team has a five point lead. Jawaro looking to post up. Jawaro backing down Desmond O. Oh, missing on the fadeaway. Alexander comes up with the board. They're going to keep it up with, uh, looking at that kind of matchup. Jawaro's going to have a field day later on. Alexander wanting to take matters into his own hands, driving it straight to the rack. No foul call. That's the most 
emotion I have seen on oh, from Brian Rousem at the start of a game. You know what's at stake here. And there's going to be a timeout here, it appears. We'll be back with the Knights leading the Slingers 12-7. On the call alongside Noel Zarate for this matchup between the visiting Singapore Slingers and the PPN CLS Knights. So far, so good here for the Knights. They haven't really resorted to anything outside of the flow of their offense, but it's their defense that has been very, very sticky until that time Larry Liu was able to penetrate. Good strong move by Larry Liu coming off that timeout. Esho getting the ball across the half court line. Esho picking the ball out. The whistle was blown. There he goes again. That nullifies another three from Wong Wei Long. Technically, Wong Wei Long should be three of three in this game. <laughs> but there's a foul that stopped that shot. And again, you like that from, from Wong Wei Long, that he's able to connect on these outside shots early. That's going to open up the defense. You notice Daryl Watkins is not on the floor right now. It's actually going to be Maxi Eschel playing center for the BTN TLS Knights. Kornyawan, another three at that time overshoots the mark. With Sandy Cornell at the moment he catches it, he has to release it. The moment he hesitates, that's when his percentages go all the way down. Alexander. Kawano is ready to help. Ball ends up in the hands of Fields. Gets it back to the X-Man. Three in the key. Called on the Slingers. And they're again trying to establish that post with various characters. John Field, Xavier Alexander, but now the referees are starting to crack down. They are camping inside. Slingers having a hard time executing their offense. However, the scoring pace still belongs to Singapore. Esho. Kurniawa. Approaching the four minute mark here in the first. Herring using the Esho screen. Esho was not ready. Here comes Alexander. Alexander on the drive. The X-Man with a basket. And again, that pick and roll should have happened, but somebody got caught up in a screen. And Xavier Alexander cuts the lead down to just one. Newly minted World Import MVP, Xavier Alexander making his presence felt here in Indonesia. Herring backing him down, though. Doug Herring loses control. And again, the intimidation factor that John Fields gives you in that post, especially if you're only six foot two, six foot three, trying to post up a six foot nine defender, that's kind of hard to do. Jared Young is in the game, testing out that hamstring well. And that's going to be ball out of bounds here for the BTN CLS Knights. You know, it's going to be a question of if Jared Young does not disrupt the offense right now. That They're playing very well without him on the floor. I'm not saying that he should be put into the game. But again, Jaron Young is practically playing on one leg in this one. And you know that the Indonesians are going to attack him on offense every chance they get. And let's see if they are going to do that. Kurniawan, Wang Wei Long. And you're right, Wang Wei Long is aggressive. Herring. The Jawaro. Jawaro blows fast by his defender, just unable to convert. Esho is oh. blocked. Big time rejection by Delvin Goh. Yeah, Delvin Goh just at the right place at the right time. Alexander in and out on that three. Esho is running. Esho gets it back to Herring. Watkins is on the bench. Herring. Crossover. Herring with a floater! Oh. Good Herring! Yeah, now, now I see where you say Gilbert Arenas. That was a Gilbert Arenas move right there. Now the goal could not control the rebound and the pace is now being slowed down by the Knights Noel. Which is interesting because this is exactly the way Singapore wants to play. A grinded out game. But you know they're going to look for their shots from the outside. Here's one of them. For now, uh, oh. no hesitation, just like you mentioned just a while ago. Right on cue. That's where he is most effective on the catch and shoot. Wide open, quick release. Sandy Kornyawa with two threes in the game. Singapore will drive in a spot. Young tapping it to his opponent. It is Knights basketball. Esso underneath. Esso. Trying to get another opportunity as he picks it up. Harry. 
with Young on him, less than 100%. The switch comes, Herring for three. Not that time. But again, you want to test Jared Young on offense. He knows he's going to go on, uh, on offense. He's talking about Jared Young. And here he goes. His first attempt is money from the outside, Jaron Young. Remember that game we did at Foshan where he exploded for 32 points. That's exactly the 32 points. That's exactly the way he started that second quarter. He's starting out the first quarter on that clip. That is a dangerous sign for the Knights. Esho. Kurniawan moves closer. Sandy Kurniawan could not finish bothered by Jaron Young. That's not really his cup of tea right there, taking it strong, but again, the instruction is attack Jaron Young on offense. Delvin go on the reverse. Oh, this kid has just improved over the years that he has been playing for the Slingers. Now he has established himself as an inside presence, and he is complimenting Zard Fields very well. Jaron is taking his time. About a five-second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Herring makes his move. Doug Herring kicks it out. Esho, the extra pass. Sandy Kurniawan short on that triple try. And that will do it for the first quarter of play. The home team, the PTN CLS Knights, leading the visiting Singapore Stinger 17 to 16 after one here in game number three of the 2019 ASEAN Basketball League Finals. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Traveling kini tak perlu repot tukar uang ke money changer. Uang saku kuliah kamu di luar negeri tak lagi terpotong ini itu. Kamu bisa mulai tabungan kamu tanpa khawatir kurs naik turun. Dan dengan kurs kompetitif, bisnis kamu akan selalu mendapat nilai tukar terbaik. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Fit me, makan mie, jangan mikir. Ketika keadaan tak sesuai harapan. Stop! Jangan banyak drama. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Uang saku kuliah kamu di luar negeri tak lagi terpotong ini itu. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Tanpa provisi, tanpa drama. quite sure if they're going to stay with a small unit for very long, but they are bringing in the bench right now. Arif Hidayan is going to see his first action of the game, and the bench is going to loom large. Remember the way Singapore dominated in terms of bench scoring in game number two. That shouldn't happen here today. Remember in game two, it was a 12-point lead for the Slingers after the first 10 minutes. It just now is a one-point lead for the Knights. Big difference. And that first quarter really set the tone for the Slingers in game number two of you. Throwing it back in to Alexander. Four seconds on the shot clock. Alexander kicking it out. Triple on the way. Yeah. That's the that's the magic that Wuhan Bin brings off the bench for the Singapore Slingers. His range is extended. Remember in his early days with the national team, he used to be a mid-range specialist. But now he's got the deep ball as well. And the Slingers have picked up the lead. So the locals making their presence felt here in game number three. On the other side though, too strong on that corner triple attempt as we take a look at Coach Neil Ben Xiang. Yeah, Arif Hidayat is trying to be an impact player. He has been in certain respects during the season, but you can't go up forcing shots over somebody as big as Delvin Gold. Hidayat will throw that inbound pass. Herring. Pulls up for three. The ball is loose. 
And the Slingers are running. Quick trigger. Basket is good. The Slingers are silencing the crowd. Larry Liu, all these years, you know, has just been providing that kind of a spark with his outside shooting. Remember, he has just thrown five or six inches over the last three years, but he still plays like a guard. Now it looks like the Knights are rushing things here with that quick trigger by Max Eschel. And remember, they don't have Daryl Watkins on the floor, so there's really nobody there to try and dictate that rebounding. Everybody trying to shoot from the outside. And for the Slingers, of course, they want to take it more inside. And I guess that's what they're going to talk about in this timeout by Brian Rossum. We'll be back. He's giving them this four-point lead. A six-game winning streak inside this venue. It's on the line here for the Knights. Young. Crossover. Young. Just a little bit short on that shot, but he looked good on that spin move. Now, how is he going to look on defense? Everybody's going to try to attack him now. He's doing everything he can. Esho. Hidayat. Herring. Makes his move. Back to Arif Hidayat. Hidayat for three. That's another forced triple put up by the Knights, nice Noel. Yeah, that's another thing that Brian Rousey's had his team has evolved into. Nobody's really playing hero ball, but everybody's playing hero ball at this point. But Daryl Watkins still on the bench. Everybody's trying to shoot from the outside. And what a move right there. Yeah, it's Luhan Bin. Bin. Yeah, Luhan Bin. He, 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 is, he is just so deadly from the outside that you've got to play him. But when he puts it on the floor, nobody's there to protect the rim as well. Esho, can he get himself going? Gets the ball down low to Herring, and Herring is hacked. And that was a major hack there given by Delvin Goh. Uh, just to make sure that with John Field sitting on the bench, Delvin Goh has now slid over to center. And with a small unit on the floor, BTN CLS Knights, Herring is trying to get his way against Delvin Goh. Delvin Goh has really proved in terms of his interior defense as well. But I this can this can actually, Anton, excuse me, this can actually get Doug Herring uh, a little bit more calibrated. He's missed his last four attempts from the field. And we were just talking about how Herring has been the most consistent player for the Knights here in these finals. Well, the Knights have not yet scored here in the second quarter. It, uh, the first quarter ended 17 to 16. So the Slingers are on to a 7-0 uh, a run, 9-0 dating back to the first. Oh. That's just very shocking, especially to these Belize fans. Eric missing two free throws. And you can see right there that Young did not have any lift as Russell Lowe was there to clean up the miss. Right, he actually just used his talent to get all the way to the hoop. Now this is starting to become alarming here for the night. Almost three minutes gone by here in a second. Still no points for them. Larry Liu's going to be called for this one, Anton. And Russell Lowe. Another big body trying to contain the big man, Daryl Watkins. It's just a great thing with Michael Johnson and the agent. Uh, coach me up, John, for this program. You know, the locals have gotten more involved. I can't wait to see Lavin Raj come into the game. The kid's 19 years old, <laughs> and, uh, and the sky's the limit on his potential. Now, Esho getting extra aggressive, catching the ball and spinning right away, drawing a foul. And that's what you need to do if you're the Knights right now. Kill the time at 6 and 56. Try to manufacture some points at the free throw line and probably even get them to penalty. Slingers have now been called for their third team foul. They only have one more foul to give. We're not even at the halfway mark of the second quarter, but you got to make the free throws. Herring missed twice earlier. Esho is supposed to be a better free throw shooter, but he's been exerting a lot of effort on both ends of the floor. Six minutes and 56 seconds remaining here in the first half. The Slingers have entered this arena and for a while have silenced the crowd. One of the most boisterous in all of Southeast Asia. Well, they've now gotten their first point in the second quarter. Now they're looking for their first field goal. Gotta be baby steps for them, but they need some stops. Young, too strong on that triple. Harry comes up with the rebound. Herring getting it to Jawato. And Brendan Jawato will finish. He gets the first step on you. There's no help defense. Brendan Jawato, you don't, you don't know that 
this kid's already gotten two knee surgeries the way he just went up for that layup. He is a machine. Young missing on another jumper, but Russell Lowe working hard for that offensive board. Now Young's taking a few shots very early in the shot clock. Uh, hero ball has moved over to Singapore. Jawado. Oh! Jaron Young with a chase down block. But at what cost? Jaron Young limping a bit as he goes down the court. Remember, he pulled that hamstring in game number one. Alexander makes his move. Throws it out. Another triple on the way. That's an air ball. And the bench really has to get involved here. Desmond Oh had all day to shoot that one. Nobody really was going to chase that one. But again, the outside shooting is, you notice the shift now with the absence of John Fields on the floor. It's more of an outside shooting uh, contest now that the Slingers want to engage the Knights in. Watkins on the runner. Daryl Watkins asking for a foul. And now you're wondering how long does Coach Nino keep John Fields on the bench as the Knights have now cut this lead down to three. Desmond O to Russell Lowe. Watkins, just like stealing candy from a baby. Oh, oh a chase down block again by Jaron Young. Boy, Jaron Young is exploding on all on both ends of the floor despite that hamstring injury. What hamstring injury? <laughs> Jaron Young making an effort on both ends. Alexander. That's a good call against Broadway Lions in the second foul. Trying to gamble on the steal, but it, you know, Xavier Alexander is just a little too tall for him to do that. Having a light moment there with a big man, Daryl Watkins. Well, again, still no John Fields on the floor here for the Singapore Slingers. Interesting because right now nobody's really picking up rebounds for Singapore. Oh, they left Young wide open, they dodged the bullet. Shot was a little short for Jaron Young. Esho is on Alexander. Alexander leading, taking Esho out, way out of the paint. And that's what Daryl Watkins does. He alters shots with his presence. You don't care if he's got two fouls. He is a legit rim protector for the Knights. That's a bad pass, though. Long way long at nowhere to go. And right now, the offense of the Knights just seem out of sync, Noel. Well, the offense of the Slingers as well. They have not scored over the last two minutes. Twenty-five, twenty-two. The Singapore Slingers lead the BTN CLS Knights here in game number three of the 2019 ABL Finals. The series is tied at one apiece. Game number four will still take place here inside the castle of the Knights. Yeah, that's this coming Saturday. Uh, before anything else, I just want to welcome you to Indonesia. I just learned that this is your first time in this country. And uh, this, you love it here. I am amazed. I was blown away, Noel, by the player introductions, the reaction of the crowd. Easily one of the most electrifying arenas I've been to in Southeast Asia. Alexander with a basketball. Jawato is on him. Nihan Bin picks it up, gets the ball back to the X-Man. They forgot how much time was left on the shot clock, and that's a problem. John Fields has still not been dispatched. You know that he's got two fouls, but Daryl Watkins is already in the game, and this is sort of altering What's been happening here, remember the Slingers came away with the first eight points of the second quarter, and the Knights have answered now. They're only down by three. Ever since Watkins came back in, Anton. Harry, passing it to the corner. Gets it back from Wang Wei Long. Jawato for three. Big time basket for Brandon Jawato. And now the Knights are playing their offense now that they have a complete starting lineup on the floor. Coach Neo does not like what he is seeing right now. And the crowd is back into this at Don Ross. We have a timeout. We are tied at 25-22. 
legitimate rim protector there. And, and the problem also here for the Slingers is not only are they failing to protect the rim, now their perimeter defense is being challenged by the outside shots here of the Knights. I mean, Brandon Jawado has scored the last five points for the Knights on the inside attack and the outside attack. Still no sign of John Fields on the floor. So Coach Neal is really sticking. Finally, we see John Fields back. Now you're gonna see the adjustment from Brian Rousem. They're not gonna attack John Fields uh, just on, at first glance. They're gonna try to get that third foul off a few screens. Let's see how the Slingers respond coming off of this timeout after that triple by Jawato. Alexander gets it down low to Fields, rejected by Doug Herrick. Harry playing the help defense that time. Uh, Daryl Watkins was all over John Fields. And look at this battle, this wrestling match between Watkins and Fields. Wong Wei Long for three. And Larry Liu picks it up. Young, back to Liu. Admin wants it. Down low, scramble for the loose ball. It is a jump ball situation. Possession arrow points in favor of the Knights. Now the Knights can reclaim the lead right now. They're starting to shoot well from the outside. The only one who has not really contributed in terms of their offense, ironically, is Doug Herring, who has been missing point blank shots, open threes. Uh, he's not looking for a shot right now. He's trying to get everybody involved, but he must get involved in the offense at some point here in the first half. He's been averaging 17.5 points per game here in the finals. Look at this place. Yeah, a lot of the We Believe shirts. We had some of the local celebrities, of course, also saying the We Believe. It's going to be big if the Knights win here today. They will be one win away from their first ever championship. But of course, we're still early here in the second half, the second quarter, rather. Esho looking for Watkins, and Watkins is saying he was being held down. I'm not quite sure what the beef was here, Watkins. I think Jaron Young had great position on him. He just couldn't move Jaron Young. And because of the way Young has played in this contest, he has remained on the floor for Singapore. And again, you have to respect Jaron Young. Injury or no injury, he's still bringing the same intensity, the same defensive presence that, that he has and en route to this uh, final appearance by Singapore. And Jawado is called for a foul as Melvin Go was trying to get that ball to Larry Liu. They're going to try to get as much of an edge as they can in terms of the calls, but that was a good call once again. Brandon Jawado really slapped the arm that time to try and force that turnover. Approaching the final two minutes here in the first half, Alexander has the basketball. Alexander shoots a three in the face of Daryl Watkins. That was a surprise because Watkins thinking, you're not going to shoot that over me. And the moment that he said that, it's, it's exactly what the MVP did. Watkins with a response missing from point blank range. Alexander makes his move. Feels denied by Esho. Young, big nice. three. Alexander again. That would have brought the house down. Herring. Herring. Looking for Watkins. Oh. Jawato. Wang Wei Long breaks free. Just unable to lay it up properly. Alexander. Throws the ball out. Larry Liu. And that's a push from behind by Delvin Go. And again, a lot of early offense being shown by both teams, but the shots are not really of high percentage nature. And if this trend continues, the Knights might be able to find their bearings by the second half. Right now, the Knights are playing into the tempo of the Slingers. That's why they're still down here by three. But when they went small ball, that's when they can actually, you know, explode. But the thing is now with John Fields back in, they have to pick their shots very well. They've been taking a lot of shots early in the shot clock. That has to change here in the final minute 20. Doug Herring has been quiet in terms of the point production here in game number three so far. Jawato makes his move. 
Brandon Jawaro creating some space and converts on the bucket. And you notice what they're doing right now is they're already fronting Brandon. Is that going to be an offensive throw on field? And that's going to be number three on him? Or is that number two on Alexander? It is the third on field. That is huge. The defensive player of the year will have to sit down saddled with three personal fouls. And clearly, he just rammed Maxi Esho. That's something that you know, should come with maturity. Probably thought he would get away with it, but that happened in, at midcourt where everybody could see it. And uh, pretty much a foolish move that time by the Defensive Player of the Year. This team, though, still up by one. Herring taking his time. Herring to Esho. Esho spins. Jawaro. Back to Herring, gets the ball back. Look at the ball movement. Jawano just unable to finish. Well, they still get that two for one though, I thought. There's a six second difference between the blocks. Alexander asking for the clear out. Oh, wait a minute. He's calling for Jeremy Young. On a pick and roll. Young with a floater. Esho comes up with the board. The Knights still have time. Wong Wei Long accelerates. Wong Wei Long rushing that shot. Young lets it fly from half court. And that will do it. An explosive first half, a physical affair between the BPN CLS Knights and the Singapore Slingers here in game number three of the 2019 ASEAN Basketball League Finals. The score, 28 to 27 Slingers. All right, guys, it's really hectic here on the castle, the home of the Gor CLS Knights Indonesia. There's also a celebrity here giving their support to the home team from Indonesia. We have Cesar Gunawan is in the house. Cesar, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. I'm doing just good right now. So, are you here alone from Jakarta or with a lot of friends? I'm here with uh, four of my friends, yeah. We just uh, let it like uh, 4 p.m. in the afternoon. So, we just come here for supporting sales nights. So this is like your first time here in Gor Kertajaya or? This is my second time actually. Uh, I was the witness when they threw to the final, to the semi-finals uh, two weeks ago. All right. Yeah, and this is my second time. And hopefully this will be my, yeah, another good moment here. All right, we hope that you will stay here with us till Saturday. Till Game 11. 4. Saturday, Game 4. Okay, we'll see about that then. All right, Cesar, what do you think about the game so far until the second quarter? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the CLS Nets have to get out from the Fraser. This is their home, this is their ground, so I think self so Nets have to play uh, more you know, aggressive. patience, yeah, aggressive, patience, less turnover because in game number two, we saw they, they made so many mistakes in Singapore, so I have to, yeah, you know, I have to uh, less the mistakes. Okay, name one player who should step up today to win the game for the home team. I think Wong Wei Long have to prove himself and the crowd here right. that now he belongs to Surabaya! Wong Wei Long, former yeah. Singapore Slingers. Last but not least, what do you think about the nice society, the fans of the BTN CLS Nights Indonesia? Uh, it's been great. We are new friends, they are new friends of mine. So we've been connecting each other from Instagram, from DM. So I think uh, this won't be my last time here. Hopefully next season or next ABL season, maybe I will go down here again in Kertajaya. Okay, Cesar Gonan, last but not least. Salam satu nyali. Wani! Wani, guys. Back to you. Thank you very much. This is where it all begins. We're partners, you and I. When we're together, we're unstoppable. When we're together, anything is possible. At BTN, we know the power of partnership. A good partner works with you intimately. A good partner knows what you need. A good partner always has your back. The partner for starting your dream family. 
building your dream home, realizing the dream. It takes courage to begin, but it takes encouragement to keep on going. So go on, dream big. We're with you every step of the way. You have a partner in BTN. Ketika keadaan tak sesuai harapan. Stop! Jangan banyak drama. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Traveling kini tak perlu repot tukar uang ke money changer. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Tanpa provisi, tanpa drama. Fit me, makan mie, jangan mikir. Ketika keadaan tak sesuai harapan. Stop! Jangan banyak drama. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Kamu bisa mulai tabungan kamu tanpa khawatir kurs naik turun. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Tanpa provisi, tanpa drama. Kami jangan mikir. Ketika keadaan tak sesuai harapan. Stop! Jangan banyak drama. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Dengan kurs kompetitif, bisnis kamu akan selalu mendapat nilai tukar terbaik. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Tanpa provisi. Tanpa drama. This is where it all begins. We're partners, you and I. When we're together, we're unstoppable. When we're together, anything is possible. At BTN, we know the power of partnership. A good partner works with you intimately. A good partner knows what you need. A good partner always has your back. A partner for starting your dream family, building your dream home, realizing the dream. It takes courage to begin, but it takes encouragement to keep on going. So go on, dream big. We're with you every step of the way. You have a partner. In BTN. Third, that's unheard of in the finals. And we are ready. The stage is set for the second half of game number three of the 2019 ABL finals as we continue our rise to the greatness. Jared Young has shown that he is healthy enough to remain on the floor as he knocks down the jumpers to start the serve. Well, the Knights really haven't made him work hard on defense. Uh, and we've seen him on defense as well, but it's been in those uh, challenge, you know, of fast breaks that the Knights have been doing. So they got to make him work on defense as well. No call that time on Tons. That time, Maxi Escho broke free for that triple big time basket for Maxi. We are tied here at 30, and again, which team is going to flinch first? Young steps back, shoots a three. Esho comes up with a board. Again, that was early in the shot clock for Jaron Young. They have to look for John Fields while he's still on the floor. That's a good call by referee Boron. Traveling called on Maxi Esho. 
What a start to begin this third period. We can see Esho speaking to one of our officials. He knows the importance of this period. I was talking to Coach Brian Rossi before the game. He also hopes that the heat in this building affects the Slingers. But what's happening right now is the heat has affected the shooting of the Knights. No tentative in terms of their offense. Fields barreling his way through. Grabs his own miss and scores. Now on the other end of the floor, Daryl Watkins is playing with two personal fouls. Doesn't want to pick up that third one. Didn't challenge Fields well enough that time. Long way long, looking for a teammate. Watkins, one way long, what a steal by Young. And again, Jeremy Young reading the passing lanes very well. Alexander, oh. Sean Fields, slamming it home after that miss by the X-Man. And Daryl Watkins didn't even bother to come down on defense that time, resulting in that easy putback for John Fields. The MVP and the defensive player of the year doing damage for the Slingers. Herring, can he make something happen? Gets the ball down low to Watkins, fields with a rejection, and that is why he is this year's Defensive Player of the Year. But he also showed, I mean, Daryl Watkins also showed where he was gonna go with that shot. Easy pickings there for John Fields as we see this one again. He had that good head fake against Xavier Alexander, but nobody telling him from behind, John Fields was laying there and waiting for that shot block. Just slamming that ball. Off the board, Esho to Watkins. Watkins with a jumper. But he had to beat the shot clock that time, Anton. Alexander back down the floor. Delvin go. Gives it back to the X-Man. Alexander makes his move. Unable to finish. And it is Knights basketball. Herring able to draw a foul. Well, that's one way of making Sharon Young work on defense. Just take it to his chest. Jared Young up for the challenge that time, but he was called for the foul. Now you have to remember, Doug Herring, uh, I thought the last time he went to the free throw line, came up empty on two attempts. He's got a chance to redeem himself as we see this one again. Looked like it was clean upstairs, but there was a lot of body involved as well. Oh. And Herring is having a nightmare of a night in game number three from the free throw line. And it looks like a technical foul has been called here. That's gonna be a, uh, well, Coach Neal says he's okay with that one. Now he wants to keep everybody's head in the game at this point. The boy, Doug Herring, his offense is sorely needed here, Anton. And finally, and you can see him shaking his head. He knows, he knows that he has to get himself going here in this contest. You have to remember the last time they lost in this building. Singapore outplayed them in the fourth quarter. And CLS ended up missing a few free throws that could have sealed the deal. But they did get it done. And it was a grinded out win for Singapore the last time they were in this building. The score was 71 to 68. Just a three point win by the Slingers. Herring with a near steal, yeah, go ahead, Anton. Back in February 27. Yeah, Herring with a near steal there. Now, you know Doug Herring has to get active on, on, on defense as well. He is 100% healthy. There is no reason for him. If he's having a bad day on offense, there's no reason for him to have a bad day on defense as well. Fields. Oh, wow. John Fields is just doing everything he can on both ends of the court playing with those three personal fouls. Yeah, good recognition, knowing how much time was left on the shot clock to get that one off just in time. Esho spins. And Maxi Esho scores in the paint. Now CLS has to flex their muscles on defense on this offensive right now. And that's a foul on Maxi Esho as Delvin Go was going up for that bucket. Maxi Esho has to watch it right now. He's been getting under the... Uh, we're getting under the nerves of the officials with all of the complaints he's been doing. That was, a, that was an obvious foul. Listen to the crowd as Delvin Goh shoots three throws. Anton, these actually represent the first free throws for the Slingers in this game. So 
I don't know if you can say that CLS has been playing great defense not to allow them to get to the free throw line or the spinners haven't been aggressive. Neither did the case of neither. This is a freak of nature that we're seeing right now. And go. Only seeking those two charities. 38 to 33 in favor of the Slingers. Esho. Esho drives baseline. Maxi Esho goes to reverse. It's a goal that Doug Field. And that was halfway down the Doug Field with the field with the ball. I mean, it's completely legal to touch the ball when it, when it makes contact with the rim, but when it's on its way in, you can't play with it anymore. And this is a great call by the officials. Become the MVP. Alexander grabs his own miss, loses control. Esho bounce pass to Wong Wei Long, gives it back to Esho. Oh. Did he just do that? Did he just drag it from top of the key? And ties the game up at 38. And chance of MVP for Maxi Esho. Watkins comes up with a board. A chance. Watkins against Delvin Goal. Watkins pulling his way to the basket. Esho is blocked, but the ball will stay with the Knights. And still, you know, Delvin Goal, that presence inside. John Fields was a little late trying to help out, but Delvin Goal held his ground. And emotions are starting to get into this game right now. You know, Brandon Delano is asking for a technical foul. But this is the finals here on Thun. You gotta love it. Esho. That's another foul as Maxi Esho made his move to the basket. It's only gonna be the second team foul on the single board swingers. This is gonna go against Yuan Bin. As Maxi Esho, you know, Yuan Bin knew exactly where he was going. But check that, it looked like Larry Liu was gonna be called for that one. Yeah, no free throws coming up, that's correct. Okay, look at Larry Liu, who has really blossomed here in the ASEAN Basketball League. Looks like a boxer in the 11th round <laughs> with the way he's sweating. Long way long. Bothered a little bit by the presence of Jaron Young and Watkins stepping on the baseline. At this point, it's getting a little intense. We have a tied game. Both teams not really shooting well from the outside. They're waiting for that explosion. Singapore had it to start the second quarter, but that was a good counter as well coming from the BGN CLS Knights. Long way long has not shot the ball particularly well after that first quarter. So where are they going to get their offense? First, they got to make sure that they play defense against the Slingers. We're talking about the Knights. Fields. Has to operate from the three-point line. John Fields. Forcing up the hook shot. Oh. And Nuhan Bin almost laying it up and in. Oh, Darryl Watkins didn't have to do that. He already secured the ball, showed the elbow, and that Nuhan Bin just put his face somewhere near that area. That's gonna be number three on Daryl Watkins. And now if you're Coach Brian Rousey, you're probably thinking, is it time to go small ball again? So now you've got both Watkins and Fields playing with three personal fouls, and this was that elbow. He didn't have to do that. He didn't have to do that. He was lucky he didn't get tagged with an unsportsmanlike foul in that one. He had, he had the ball, he could have triggered a fast break. Instead, Daryl Watkins, Shows the elbow, now he's paid for it with his third personal foul. Five minutes and seven seconds remaining here in the third. Alexander looking for a teammate. Fields gets it back to the X-Man, the MVP. Makes his move, throws it out. Larry Liu for three. That's an air ball. And getting a little chippy here between Fields and Harry. And Larry Liu has missed his last three attempts from the outside. They gotta look for something more. And Harry 
just avoided the bat. There is a bat here inside the castle. Yes, there is. And both are playing intense as well. Very, very physical in the paint. But Doug Herring is trying to get under the skin of John Fields in that last play. It's going to be a question of mind games coming down the stretch here in the third. Herring with Liu in front of him. Herring throws it out to Jawado. Jawado steps on the brakes. Esho picks it up. Four seconds on the shot clock. Esho lets it fly. That's an air ball. Again, credit the defense of the Singapore Slayers. They knew exactly what was going to happen coming out of that timeout for the night, and they were able to defend against it. Alexander, Young. Young pulls up, decides to pass the Fields, who was not ready. But luckily for the Slingers, Darrell Watkins had a hand on that ball. Again, they got to make game on the sunshine. John Fields is playing on borrowed time. He's got three fouls here in the third quarter. That's still okay. But you got to get him involved as long as he's still on the floor. Young. Difficult shot. Young grabs his own miss. You have to tip your hat off to Jared Young with the way he's playing despite that torn hamstring. Two inches torn on that hamstring. He's going to have that look at after the series. But he is playing in pain right now. You can see that he didn't have much lift on that attempt. Harry. Oh, he's been off tonight here in game number three. Young. Basket is good for Jared Young. And on offense, Young is still going to be effective. They got to make him work on defense. Sound like a broken record here. But the Knights are not making work on defense. They're not, you know, getting him off that rhythm. Long way long. Watkins thought he had a clear lane, but Nuhan Bin was there. Yeah, it was a great pick and roll action shown there. That's going to be team foul number three for the uh, Singapore Slingers. They still have a foul to give, three and 30. Again, a low-scoring game will favor the Slingers, and that's exactly what we have here in the third. Although the Slingers did score 77 points and limited the Knights to 57 that's in game right. number two. Watkins, nowhere to go. Herring for three. Big time basket. A much needed one for the point guard of the Knights. You. Missing. Wrong way long comes up to the ball. This is going to be a turning point of the game. And Doug Herring can actually get his offense going. His first triple in the game. Herring. Looking for Watkins. Herring. One more time. Oh! Herring has come alive. It was just a matter of time before Doug Herring realized that he was playing in Surabaya. Outside shooting has now given the Knights a 4.3. 44, the 40th time on Singapore. Third, after being almost quiet on offense in the first half, back to back three. From down two, they're now up four. Let's see how the Slingers will respond. Melvin Gold gets it back to Jared Young. And this is going to drive Coach Leo and Coach Michael Johnson crazy. This is coming off a timeout. It was a set play. Read very well there by the defense of the Knights. And the Knights are starting to play on a different level here in the third. Mohan Ben is on Herring. Herring feeling it. Herring makes his move. Doug Herring could not finish. Alexander. Fields, jumper, rattles out. Jared Young comes from out of nowhere. Gets the ball back. Young, floater in the lane. Jared Young silencing the crowd. And Maxi Escher was all alone to try and contain Jared Young. At the moment that Jared Young used that pick by John Fields, he was free. Nobody there to help out Esho. One way long, the Doug Herring passing it to the corner. Jawano for three! Brandon Jawano, the Knights, fighting the mark here in the third period. That's what you like about Brandon Jawano. He doesn't need any warm up to shoot now. How about Luhan Bin coming back with a three in transition? 
What a duel we are witnessing here in the third. Herring gets the ball down low to Watkins. Esho has it now. 11 on the shot clock. Maxi Esho. Jawano for three. Too strong. But they had the right idea at the onset. You know, getting it inside to Darrell Watkins. They can play one on one against John Fields. Once John Fields out of that equation and make him pick up his fourth foul. But, you know, the Knights have not been successful on that front. Sharon Young, however, has found his legs here, so to speak, in the third quarter. But they're still not shooting the ball very well. The Singapore Slingers are as it aren't as it seems. Yeah. Young. Alexander. Ball will stay with the Slingers. Yeah, it's going to be a kick ball. Shot clock's going to stay at 15 with 101 remaining in the third. And the Slingers still trying to grind it out slow at this point. Yeah. Yeah. go. Larry Hill. Alexander makes his goal. Sticks and slides. Spins. Shoots. Throws a foul. Wow, that was with less than a second remaining on the shot clock as well. Xavier Alexander, the MVP, drawing that one against Maxi Esho. And Esho uh, readily acknowledges that one, but again, they played great defense for 13 seconds. And in the last second, Xavier Alexander got creative and was rewarded. It's only the second time the Slingers are at the line today with 44.8 remaining in the third, I thought. Xavier Alexander representing Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Knocking in the first free throw. Well, I mean, we're up to me beyond that Oklahoma City Thunders lineup, actually. He actually played at the OKC Dealey team for three years. Now we got a tight game here once again, Anton. And the Slingers have to get some stops here. They're extending their defense right now. Herring, the man of the moment for the Knights. Esho overshoots that one. Watkins. Great defense by the Slingers. And Watkins with a cardinal sin for big guys. This guy's seven feet tall, but the moment he dribbles the ball, he becomes six feet tall, and everybody can converge on him, even the smallest player. So I heard a great coach once say, if you're seven feet tall, why dribble and be six feet? Stay seven feet tall. And now they're drawing at each other, because right now, John Fields is winning this matchup of two foul beleaguered centers. You gotta love it. There is competition, but at the same time, there is respect. 47 all. Winding down the third period here in game number three. Alexander Deleu. Young for the lead. Rebound, Jawato. Have time. Herring has to fire. Doug Herring for the lead. In and out on that last second shot. But look at where we stand here at Don at the end of 30 minutes in regulation. Tied at 47. You wouldn't expect this the way there was two blowouts in game one and game two. This is the finals right here in front of us. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Traveling kini tak perlu repot tukar uang ke money changer. Uang saku kuliah kamu di luar negeri tak lagi terpotong ini itu. Kamu bisa mulai tabungan kamu tanpa khawatir kurs naik turun. Dan dengan kurs kompetitif, bisnis kamu akan selalu mendapat nilai tukar terbaik. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Nih, 
Fit me. Makan mie. Jangan mikir. Ketika keadaan tak sesuai harapan. Stop! Jangan banyak drama. Kenalin, Velas, sahabatmu dalam setiap transaksi Velas. Uang saku kuliah kamu di luar negeri tak lagi terpotong ini itu. Nikmati dunia tanpa batas bersama Velas. Tanpa provisi, tanpa drama. Are shooting, which is surprising for the CLS Knights to be shooting this bad in their own building, but they're still in a tight game. So once again, we welcome you to our broadcast. This is game number three, and we are tied at 47 to begin the fourth quarter. Jawado, Delvin Go is on him. Here comes the pick provided by Watkins. Watkins was oh. not ready for the pass. For now, on another wild shot. And there's gonna be a call here. I believe it could be a jump ball between Watkins and Jaron Young. And what's gonna happen is Singapore's gonna get the ball back. But again, Sandy Kornyawa doing something out of his comfort zone. He's in there to shoot those open corner jumpers. He did see a momentary opening in the lane, but the moment you do that, it's like a quarterback trying to take off from the line of scrimmage. You see all these linebackers trying to collapse on him. Well, Jaron Young has not taken a rest since coming on in that second period. So he's probably answered the question I asked him before the game. Can you play at least 30 minutes today? He's doing that right now. Backdoor cut by Delvin Go. Kornyawan taps the ball to the wrong man. Jawado inside pass, mm. stolen away by Alexander. Fields against Watkins. Fields is able to draw a foul. That's number four on Terrell Watkins. And it first looked like he just stood his ground and Fields collapsed. But at the same time, he cut off the cutting angle of John Fields. You know, he was stepping on that circle. Had he been outside that circle, might have been a non-call. At the moment, you step into that semicircle underneath the basket, and there is contact made by an incoming player. That will be called a blocking foul, and that is number four on Daryl Watkins. Now, you have to remember, Anton, in the second quarter, the Knights drew a certain amount of success by playing small ball. Will Brian Rousem go to that right now? That remains to be seen. But I don't think it's wise to leave Carol Watkins out there with four fouls. And he's been talking to John Fields as Fields knocks down that first free throw. The Stingers yeah. haven't missed from the line, Noel. They have not. And uh, John Fields, of course, you have to remember he sat out a majority of that second quarter after picking up that second foul, actually sat down towards the end of the first. Coach Neo on your screen decided to gamble and go with a small lineup. When the Knights started winning that matchup, Fields came in, and Fields has not sat down since. But he is playing with three fouls. Watkins is still asking the officials for clarification, and John Fields is asking, come on, I have a second free throw coming up. It's taking a while. He finally gets the ball. Perfect by the Slingers from the charity stripe tonight. Six of six so far for Singapore. Wong Wei Long is going to come in, and here comes the small ball unit now for Coach Brian Rousem. And it worked for a stretch in that first half, yeah, Noel. They were able to, to resurrect from being down eight to tying the game with that small lineup on the floor. But then again, it's going to be a game of adjustments. Coach Neo and Coach Michael Johnson figured that out, and they were still able to recapture the lead. Oh, Esho falls down. Jawado picks it up. Esho seems to be shaken up. Kurniawan, back to Jawado. Jawado makes his move. Oh. What a play by Brandon Jawado. He defended the ball with his white body, but John Fields couldn't get to it. The strength 
of Jawaro on full display. Fields falls down. Oh, he lied on the line. Now this small ball unit with Asho playing center. Can it work against the regular lineup of the Slingers? That is two consecutive stops that they've had now. They're feeding off the energy of the crowd. The Knights are. Again, you have to remember, it was a grinded out win for Singapore the last time they were here. They were down by as much as 12 in the game, came back in the fourth. Knights missed a few free throws, couldn't put the game away. And a big three-pointer by Xavier Alexander actually put them on top, and they stayed on top of that one, representing the last time a team came into this building and pulled out a victory. Jawado again using his speed. Everything but the shot on that play. Alexander, Fields, Young. Alexander thought about it. Nohan Ben, Young, top of the key three. A little bit too strong, but an offensive rebound from Nuhan Ben. Alexander gives the lead to Singapore. And that's the problem when you don't have Daryl uh, Daryl Watkins on the floor. You got four players boxing out. Nobody really going for the ball. And Nuhan Ben, the guy who shot the brick three. Long way long. Young is on him. Herring. Hands it off to Esho. The play was for Max. Oh! Big time basket for the man who Indonesia believes is the MVP. Now you're going to hear it from the crowd here as well. The MVP chance are going to come in just a bit. Looks like Xavier Alexander got tagged with that one. Check that. Yeah, somebody's got four fouls here. It's Larry Liu who picked up his fourth. Esho unable to give the lead back to the Knights. Now it's Herring on Alexander. Luan Bin saving it to Larry Liu. It's a broken play now for Singapore. Four seconds on the shot clock. Nuhan Bin flips it up. No good. Herring comes up with the board. Kurniawan uh -oh. fakes, fires. Shot as short fields, comes up with a board. Young hops inside. Alexander throws it out. Larry Liu. Oh, they left him open. New hot bin overshoots that one. Fields comes up with the loose ball, and Doug Herring grabs the board. Oh, the field goal shooting numbers for both squads have been horrendous in this game. It's probably the team that shoots better in the final half of this fourth quarter. It's going to pick up the win. Herring fires over Fields. And right now, the Knights and the Slingers are struggling to buy baskets. Nuhan Bin for three. And that's great effort by Jawano. Oh, errant pass by Herring. Larry Liu will try. Nuhan Bin, double team. Elbow to the face of Wong Wei Long. I think Wong Wei Long is going to be called for a flop here. It is a flop. Wong Wei Long, that's going to be a warning for a technical foul. The elbow was swung, but not in his general direction. And Wong Wei Long looked as if he got hit by it. Now, luckily for them, as we see this one again, See that? It wasn't even close, and Wong Wei Long sold it as that, and they're very strict with flopping here in the ABL. Our referee from Singapore actually stopped the game just to call that flopping warning. We've got six minutes remaining here in the fourth. Check that, it's a referee from Malaysia. Excuse me. Score is tied at 51. This could be crucial right here. 
Well, so they did call the technical foul, and that is the first miss by the Slingers from the 15-foot line today. It comes at a crucial juncture. Six minutes to go as we set on Ton with a score tied at 51. Long way Long's got to watch it as well. Another flopping on him. He's tossed. Young gets the ball back. Jaron Young fakes. Fields. Mid range is good he's for John Fields. And you know, I thought he's almost automatic from anywhere within that elbow area. And John Fields, you know, staying on. They need to get that fourth foul from John Fields to even the playing field. Watkins to Herring. Watkins makes his move. Ooh! A sorry miss for Daryl Watkins. And how many layups have they missed in this game? Watkins, this is a big gamble now for Brian Rosson to keep him in. Big mistake. Nobody near Sharon Young, and he has been the X Factor here in game number three. It's as if his hamstring injury miraculously healed when he came back in the game, when he came into the game in that second quarter. Esho has got to do something for the Knights. Esho missing. Watkins. And Watkins is able to draw a foul. Will that be on fields, though? I'm not quite sure if that's on fields or on Delvin Gold. Well, they're gonna, it looks like they're gonna call this on Xavier Alexander. But nonetheless, that's gonna mean free throws. The time has stopped at 4.51. Slinger's up by five, but Watkins can uh, carve into this. Now again, you sort of question why Watkins is back on the floor. They were actually playing pretty decent with a small ball unit. But this is a big gamble. We don't know what's going on through the uh, mind right now. Coach Brian Rousem. But leaving Watkins out there, that is dangerous, especially on defense. Watkins splits the free throws. Alexander. Young. Fields. Back to Alexander. Alexander taking his time. No hard bear. Makes his move. Delvin Go rushing that shot. Esho comes up with a rebound. And they ate up too much of the shot clock to settle for an 18 footer from Delvin Go way out of his range. Herring makes his move. Doug Herring could not finish. He's missed several layups. Well, he, Maxi Esho, Brandon Jawato, Daryl Watkins. You know, there have been a lot of missed layups. Now, remember, in game number two, the uh, BTN CLS Knights started out that first quarter by missing six layups. They have scattered more than that throughout this game and many opportunities to actually keep this one. You know, but probably they have the lead right now if they made even half of those missed layups that they had. Starting to break into song here. Anton just trying to get their team together. Once again, the last team that has beaten the Knights in this building are the team they're going up against right now. Jawado. Herring gives it back to Brandon Jawado. Makes his move to the basket. Watkins missing. He rushed that. There was no defense around him. Under four minutes to play here in this game. Fields a little bit too strong on that mid-range shot. Wong Wei Long could not hold on to the basketball. Young moves closer. Wild shot by Jaron Young. Oh, that's, that's number a foul. four. That's number four. There it is. That's number four on Fields. And the Indonesians are now standing up as they believe the Knights have what it takes to win the championship here in the 2019 ASEAN Basketball League Finals. But right now, they are staring at a four-point lead by the visiting Singapore Slingers. 
Carol Watkins playing with four fouls, had an opportunity to cut this even closer, but John Fields just picked up foul number four. This could change the complexion of the final three minutes in this game, Anton. Esho, finally! Maxi Esho with an easy basket in the paint. Uh, it's, it's not a good idea anymore. They're not going to make Sharon Yell work on defense. It's now going to be Xavier Alexander they're targeting to work on defense, and Esho with a good seal in the post. Young with a fake. Desmond O. Fields against Watkins. Cross court pass. Delvin Go. Fields with a hook shot. Great recognition by Delvin Go. He just sucked the defense towards him, and John Fields unmolested for that easy one. Herring, Watkins, Jawano to Esho. Esho, oh. what a move. Herring from the corner. Big time basket for Doug Herring. It's winning time. You got to remember that game they had against the, the Saigon Heat in this building when they were down 11 with less than two minutes to go. Doug Herring and Wong Wei Long got inspired to bring them back from the dead. And that's exactly what just might happen right now, but they still need to stop. The MVP, Xavier Alexander, gets it to John Fields. Desmond O oh from way out. And the Knights have a chance to take the lead. And again, with less than two minutes remaining, neither team in the penalty. It will come down to execution here. Jawado. Herring. Herring from the free throw line. Short. Delvin Go with a rebound. Sorry, missed there for Doug Herring. Alexander makes his move. Alexander oh. loses control. Young. But a foul was called. Oh boy. That's gonna go against Delvin Go. That's gonna be team foul number four now on the Slinger. So any foul from this point on is gonna send the CLS Knights to the free throw line. And they have a chance to regain the lead right now. Herring has had the ball in his hands for the last three offensive thrusts. You can guarantee they're gonna go through him again right now. Herring. Calling out the play. 17 seconds on that shot clock. Esho with Alexander on him. Watkins against Fields. Watkins makes his move. Watkins kicks it out. Esho steps back, shoots a three. Just a badly attempted shot by Maxi Esho. Alexander all over him. He's asking for a foul. Not called. Singapore calls a timeout. And again, great defense there by the Slingers. They knew exactly where Eshel was going to go. They trapped him in the corner, and he had to hurry that bad shot. This is where it all begins. We're partners, you and I. When we're together, we're unstoppable. When we're together, anything is possible. At BTN, we know the power of partnership. A good partner works with you intimately. A good partner knows what you need. A good partner always has your back. The partner for starting your dream family, building your dream home, realizing the dream. It takes courage to begin, but it takes encouragement to keep on going. So go on, dream big. We're with you every step of the way. You have a partner in BTN. A very badly executed offensive thrust they had in the last play. And now the Slingers want to use up the entire 24 seconds by inbounding from the backcourt. Here we go. Fans are up on their feet. Chance of defense. Young 
to Larry Liu. Give and go. Alexander with a big time basket, the MVP coming through in the clutch. But you want something going to the hoop. You don't necessarily need a three point shot at this point, especially if they opt to inbound from the front court, which gives them 14 seconds to shoot instead of 24. The X-Man just started shaking his head. He was looking for a foul. Maybe he did get hit on the face. But still an eternity of basketball, as a famous Filipino sportscaster once said. The Slingers will try. Oh, they're get, getting it from the backcourt. Interesting. They are trying to duplicate their victory inside this venue. Last February 27 and stop a three game winning streak by the Knights on their home floor. Now they're looking for a three by Esho. doing that. Well, Esho's just gonna get the deuce. This is a good idea as well. Now they're gonna play the foul game. And Coach Neo's gonna use his final timeout here, Anton. First dunk of the game for Maxi Esho. So the Slingers are probably gonna inbound this in their front court. As we see Maxi Esho, all shots from beyond the arc were shut down by the perimeter defense, decided to take it strong. That's okay. They have 11 seconds remaining. Now they play the foul game. Now the problem is, this is very reminiscent of the last game these two teams played in this building. The Knights still have two fouls to give, so they have to hurry. But they also have to go for a steal before going for the foul. So they must hurry if they want to play the foul game here. Again, even if CLS loses tonight, there's still game four in this building this coming Saturday. And if there will be a game five, that's next Wednesday at the OCBC Arena in Singapore. Those are the possible scenarios that both teams have to go through to win their first ABL championship. And the trophy is actually downstairs. Right for all the fans to take their photos and post on their social media accounts. Again, they still have two fouls to give. It's gonna be Delvin Goh interesting again. Delvin Goh is the inbounder. He usually wants somebody like Jared Young inbounding the ball. And Jared Young surprising us all, playing heavy minutes today. Great game by Jared Young. Alexander gets the ball. Fouled right away by Wong Wei Long. Delvin Go. Goes to Alexander, fouled by Kurniawa. Now remember, Alexander missed the free throw just moments ago. Right, right. But now who is it? This is going to be the foul that sends a slinger to the free throw line. If there is no steal. Now they're sagging off of the inbounder. Uh oh Wow! It looked like John Fields had a basket there, but decided to throw it back out to Alexander, and that's what Xavier is telling John, that he had an easy two. Still a one-possession game here, Anton, with a little over five seconds to go. He was the first slinger to, to take some free throws. Pressure. possession game regardless. Second free throw is in. They have no more timeouts. They have to rush this up with five seconds to go. Watkins, Jawado loses control. Oh, but there's a foul. There's a foul. Both teams are over the limit and that's it for John Fields. Coach Neo is up in arms. He cannot believe it.
Check that. They did not give the foul to John Fields. It was on Delvin Gall. That's his fourth. And now Brandon Jawato will be tested from the line. 3.8. Anything can happen here. He can miss the second one. He has to make the first one first. Oh! oh. Now he has to miss this intentionally. It looked like he rushed that first free throw. Second one for Jawato is in. Alexander gets it to Young. You got 2.7 remaining in this one. Jaron Young has not been to the free throw line today, but you have to like the chances now for the Slingers with only 2.7 remaining. Jaron Young has had a monster game off the bench. And he can put this away, probably the player of the game. Big time basket for Jaron Young. Yeah, you want to put pressure by making the second free throw as well. They've got two seconds to operate here, down by three. Watkins will throw the ball in. Watkins gets it to Esho. Esho with the release. He misses. And the Slingers have ended the six-game home-winning streak of the Knights here in game number three of the 2019 ABL Finals. And the Singapore Slingers did just enough to eke out the win. This is the closest game we've had in these finals so far. And they have reclaimed home court advantage, which is very important heading into game four. They could be celebrating their first ABL championship on this floor, but for Brian Rousem, he knows that they're still not dead. They still have one more game this Saturday, but kudos again to the Slingers. Jaron Young coming off the bench, doing his best playing with that hamstring injury. Xavier Alexander, and as well as uh, John Fields hitting clutch baskets at the right time. Larry Liu led the local charge in that first half as well. Delvin Goal. A lot of uh, heroes here for the Singapore Slingers, but there still will be a game four this coming Saturday. Will it be a coronation or an extension? That is the question. The first victory by the Singapore Slingers or any team here inside this arena since February 27. And guess what? The Knights also lost by three points right. in that game. And again, they also missed some crucial free throws down the stretch. Same situation. They had to play the foul game in order to keep in step. And they had to waste a few seconds just to get into that, the penalty situation. And Max Yesho had a clean look to try and tie it up, but Brandon Jawato, when he missed that first free throw, it was desperation time, and the Slingers with a with an ugly if we call it an ugly win here because of the low scoring nature the bad shooting for both teams actually punctuating this as a defensive victory for a team that has the defensive player of the year as well and we're taking a look at some of the highlights this was the baskets made by Wang Wei Long and Maxi Esho in the first half and then even Sandy Kurniawan getting into the act for the home team and then Doug Herring, of course, making his presence felt. And he really came alive in that third quarter for the Knights. But there was also a stretch in the fourth quarter, Noel, where both teams had difficulty finding baskets. Well, they really, it was more of hero ball, really. Whoever had wanted to make the big shots. A lot of big shots were taken, but no really real big shots were really made. Probably the last big shot we saw was that corner three coming from Doug Herring. I'm sure we're gonna see it here in just a bit. And that cut the lead down to one. But in the end, who executed more? The steadier team prevailed. And of course, the Singapore Slingers came in with all of their championship experience, walked into this building, made it an ugly, low-scoring game. And we were saying this 
from the from the top of the coverage. If it becomes a low scoring game, it favors Singapore. And in the end, both teams combining for 123 points over 40 minutes of basketball and the Slingers prevail. And that was the play of the game right there. A miss by the X-Man, put back dunk by John Fields and the defensive player of the year playing with tons of intensity, shutting Watkins down and look at Jaron Young also doing some damage on the defensive end. A lot of great highlights. And Maxi Esho had to work for buckets like this. Well, it was complete team defense again for Maxi Esho. But it's sort of confusing. Did he want to shoot from the outside more? Did he want to take it inside? When they went small ball, he only posted up about twice and was successful once as well. So a lot of things, Coach Brian Rousem is going to look at the video of this game to learn about what he can adjust in game number four. One thing is for sure though, they cannot shoot this terribly in their own building if they hope to send this to a game five. And if Singapore comes out with the same defensive intensity that they showed here today, might as well hand them the crown because if it's gonna come down to a defensive contest, Singapore Slinger is one of the tops in the league. Well, just like the unpredictability of this season, Noel, we saw blowouts in the first two games here in game number three it went down to the wire it was down to the wire forever actually since the first quarter 17 to 16 look at the field goal shooting 32 percent for the night singapore actually had one over them in terms of that shooting 10 three-pointers made that's normal for the btn cls nights but the overall field goal percentage was terrible and how about six of 13 from the free throw line. It doesn't matter if the turnovers and blocks were even. It was really down to the free throws. It was really down to who made the higher percentage shots in the end. And the defense of the Slingers had them prevailing in a low scoring affair. And again, in game four, it's this low scoring. Slingers could be walking home with their first ABL title. And that is what we are going to look forward to when we come back here on Saturday here in Surabaya, Indonesia. Noel, pleasure working with you. To all the fans, thank you for tuning in, and we will see you all again for game number four. On behalf of my partner, Noel Zarate, I'm Anton Ross saying thank you so much, and we will see you all again next time as we continue our rise to greatness here in the finals of the 2019 ASEAN Basketball League. This is where it all begins. The leap of faith. The first step to the journey. Towards the unknown. The challenging. The daunting. But when we're together. Hand in hand. The journey becomes. Exciting. We're partners, you and I, together, facing your fears, pursuing your passion, breaking boundaries, building your future, overcoming challenges, celebrating every achievement. When we're together, we're unstoppable. When we're together, anything is possible. At BTN, we know the power of partnership. A good partner works with you intimately. A good partner knows what you need. A good partner always has your back. A partner for starting your dream family, building your dream home, realizing the dream. It takes courage to begin, but it takes encouragement to keep on going. So go on, dream big. We're with you every step of the way. You have a partner in BTN.